Hello friends, this video on surface area and volume part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 9. Now let's take one more concept in uh, volumes and surface area where we convert one shape to another shape. I'll explain you what it is and then we'll explain why we need this in the real life in the shape. So what we do in this case is we take some volume, one, one metal, this is solid metal, this is a solid, solid metal. Normally it is a solid metal which we take, right? Then what we do is we boil this, we boil this and this melts, this is melt and this becomes liquid in this fashion. Now, since if you see this is a cuboid, this is a cuboid or cube, anything you can say, we melt it, we boil it and then we give it another shape. For example, in this case, this is cylinder or we can do other way around also. From cylinder, we can make cuboid. So in real life application, what we do is in real life world actually what we do, we keep doing this. We keep changing shapes of solid from one shape to another because the iron bar if you see the we get from the raw ore is in this fashion and from this we make steel plates we make cylindrical pipes so what we do we change the shape from one shape to another and that happens in real life so here what we'll study we'll study how to convert one shape to another shape if you want to find let's suppose we are told that uh, the length of this is uh, 30, 30 and 40, length, breadth and height of this. From this you are forming a cylinder whose radius is 10. You want to find the height. We can do that. The cache here is the volume of source, source solid. will be equal to volume of target solid. So what I mean is, if you convert cuboid to cylinder, so volume of cuboid will be equal to volume of cylinder. If you do other way around also, in that case also it is true. So in that case the volume of cylinder will be equal to volume of cuboid. You convert any shape. For example, you have, let's suppose you take some block like this, some 3D, is 3D actually, 3D, 3 times in rock kind of. From this, you make a cuboid. So, volume of this figure one will be equal to volume of figure two. From this again, you bend and you form wire or a cylinder. So, volume of this will be equal to volume of three. From this, if you make cone, solid cone. Volume of this will be equal to volume of this. You keep changing the shape. The thing that will remain constant is volume. Volume will be same. That is the loop slide. So in any questions we will solve there in the next few slides, we will make sure that the volume is constant. If you keep changing shape, doesn't matter, the volume has to be constant. So let's take some example. The question says a metallic sphere of radius 4.2 is melted and recast into shape of a cylinder of radius 6 cm. We have to find the height of the cylinder. So let me draw this. This is a sphere of uh, radius 4.2. From this, we are melting it and we are forming a cylinder. Correct? And the radius is R is equal to 6 m. We have to find the value of H. So as we have told that in this case the volume of sphere will be equal to the volume of cylinder. Correct. The volume of sphere is how much? 4 by 3 pi R1 Q. Let this be R1, this be R2 to avoid confusion. And this will be equal to volume of cylinder that is pi r2 square into h. r1 r2 we know we can find the value of h very easily. So let's put the value 4 by 3 
five into four point two Q is equal to pi into six square into H pi by cancel. If you solve this, this becomes H is equal to four by three into four point two Q by six pi. Solve this further, then we get two point seven four. What we are talking? We are talking about height, and we are talking about centimeter. So it will be centimeter. Correct. If we talk about area, it will be centimeter square. If we talk about volume, it will be centimeter cube. Since we are talking about height, the unit will be centimeter. And this is my height. Very simple. The volume of sphere is equal to the volume of sphere. Metallic spheres of radius six. Eight and ten centimeter respectively are melted to form a single solid sphere. We have to find the radius of resulting. So the question says there are three spheres, small, small spheres actually, and we add all this thing, melt it, we get a bigger sphere. This is R one is equal to six, R two is equal to eight, R three is equal to ten, and we get a sphere. With radius r, we need to find the value of this. Correct. So now now we know that volume of spheres r1 plus r2 plus r3, all these spheres, the sphere r1 plus sphere r2 plus sphere r3, total volume will be equal to volume of bigger sphere. Correct. I have told the volume will be same. You add all the volumes because it says that there are three spheres. All the spheres are melted to become a bigger spheres. So, volume of smaller spheres will be four by three pi r one cube plus four by three pi r two cube plus four by three pi r three cube. That's the volume of sphere one, volume of sphere two plus volume of sphere three, and this is equal to volume of bigger sphere that is four by three. Pi R four, R one, R two, R three. We know we have to find R. So let's take four by three pi common. This becomes R one Q plus R two Q plus R three Q is equal to four by three pi R four Q. Pi pi four by three cancel. So I get R four Q is equal to R one Q plus R two Q plus R three Q. Let me put the value. So this becomes six q plus eight q plus ten q. So this becomes two hundred sixteen plus eight q is five hundred twelve plus one thousand. If you add this, this becomes one seven. So I get R four is equal to cube root of one seven. Cube root of one seven two it is twelve. Why? Because Twelve into twelve into twelve is equal to one seven. So R four is nothing but twelve, and since it is in centimeter, it will be centimeter only because we are talking about radius, and the unit of radius is centimeter. Correct. So that is the answer. Very simple. You take all the cubes, find the volume, add it, and that is equal to the volume of the bigger cube. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.